And while the number of coronavirus cases are growing in the New Orleans area, we've been told the treatment of patients right now is currently under control. Dr. Susan Gunn, who is on the front lines there, is here to update us on the systems in place to prepare for what may come next. So thank you for being with us, Dr. Gunn, and thank you for your service. Of course, we appreciate everyone there on the front lines. A lot of experts are saying New Orleans may be the next coronavirus hotspot. What can you tell us about the state of your city right now? Are you able to treat everyone who needs care? We are absolutely treating everyone who needs care. Um, it, I was the intensivist on one of the intensivists on this weekend, and we were definitely busy. Um, patients are coming in. We are creating new ICU beds every day with the ability to be monitored 24 hours um, through our telemonitoring system. Um, as patients, as, as ICU beds are coming online, um, we are ensuring that patients are being placed into those um, beds um, who need them. All right, well, that is certainly good news. Talk a little bit about the city's supply of equipment. Shortages have been reported, or at least anticipated shortages in the next couple of weeks. Where do you all stand? We have plenty of ventilators. We have dialysis machines. Um, we certainly have enough PPE. Um, this is a, um, an innovative city. We work in an innocent, innovative environment for sure. And um, we have the capabilities to create the PPEs that we need. And in terms of, of the level of care you're able to provide will determine obvious on what these numbers are going to look like in the next couple of weeks. Do you see the curve beginning to flatten there or do you believe it may get worse before it gets better? We are just a month out from Mardi Gras, and once COVID arrived, it's only been three weeks to the day that COVID arrived in the city or was confirmed to arrive in our city. Um, we, once it arrived, it kind of made sense to us. Um, and now it's been a week since our spring breakers have returned. Um, we hope that the curve is flattening. I, um, I do have our concerns. We're seeing family units. Our city is a very, um, um, family oriented city and so I can, I'm concerned about our family units who are be, who are bringing COVID home and not self quarantine themselves within their own rooms. Dr. Susan Gunn, thank you for all that you do and continue to do. We appreciate your time this today. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.